anointing, may the Lord in his mercy and love and mercy help you with the grace of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord who frees you from sin save you and raise you up. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper.
Shiny and silver. Now you're going to go bother taking the price hang off. Carter walks off. Paul shakes his head in disgust and sits again just as Bishop Maloney enters. Bishop Maloney is here for the buffet, are we? Charming as always, Senator. It's quite the statement that you and the nephew of Coven put out the other day. Landed perfectly underlined between hate and absolute condescension. It's no easy thing. You know, I'm surprised they let you speak here today, Paul. This is meant to be an event for the holy. A lot of rumors about it. Don't you want to be so smart? Bishop Maloney walks off. Make sure you use the lobster, give you bulbous tit. The stick of fish tends to linger in fine silk. Paul takes another long drink, and a large round of applause takes us to Carter Johnson at the podium. Ladies and gentlemen, Carter Johnson. Well, Brother Carlisle asked me to sing at this event. I knew it was my duty to be here. But I also wanted my good friend to speak with you all. The only thing I hate about this man's Irish brogue is the fact that every lilted vow means he'll never be our president. <laughs> Used to be a priest, you know that? 
29 years ago, this man set me on the right path, and I haven't looked back since. Ladies and gentlemen, give a warm welcome to the last honest man on Capitol Hill, Senator Paul Mayer. Paul comes on and Carter gives him a warm hug as Paul squirms out of and heads for the podium. Carter stays on stage behind him. Carter Johnson, everyone, isn't he something? <laughs> that outfit is something. So if you're looking to get him something for Christmas, well, don't get to the dazzler he already has in the wing. <laughs> well, <clears throat> what an absolute honor it is to be here. Yes, I was a priest. Was past tense. All those years ago, I came across on the boat from Ireland. 31 years, in fact. Now, you hear lots of immigrants like myself talk about the Statue of Liberty for the first time. That lady of hope. There's no feeling in the world, no feeling like it in the world. So, you can imagine the disappointment when it all turns out to be a hoax. Carter walks up to Paul and touches his arm. Oh, I mean, what in the name of God are you people doing here worshipping this golden calf? The only thing haloed about this place is the hypocrisy. Uh, did you know that Bishop Maloney is here? Uh, he's in the back at the buffet table eating all the children's candy, farting through silk. Carter tries again. Paul shoves him off and holds a paper out of his coat. Have you read the Catholic Church's latest statement at being, uh, latest attempt at being human? Just today, Cardinal Ratzinger put out this new and improved, and curated, and poured over, and painstakingly worded memoranda on homosexuality. Have you read it? That here, let me. <clears throat> Although the particular inclination of the homosexual person is not a sin, it is a more or less strong tendency ordered toward an intrinsic moral evil, and thus the inclination itself must be seen as an objective disorder. It is deplorable that homosexual persons have been and are this object of violent malice in speech or in action. Such treatments deserve condemnation from the church pastors wherever it occurs. Right. Isn't that lovely? So, to paraphrase, we don't really like them, but don't beat them up, okay? It's the warmth of the cockles in my heart. Now, I also have with me a letter that was uh, leaked to the New York Times that has uh, yet to be published. And, and, and it goes a little something like this. Um, the Catholic Church must resist the effort in some countries to manipulate the Church by gaining the often well-intentioned support of her pastors with a view toward changing civil statutes and laws. That was written by the Doctrine of Faith and approved by Pope John Paul II, the so-called liberal Pope. And do you know how sick I am of trying to deal, of trying to get things done in this fantastical country when the only thing that blocks me at every goddamn turn is the church! And you know whose fault it is? Paul steps up from behind the podium to the edge of the deck and addresses the audience. It's your fault. And it's your fault. And yours. And yours. And yours. For demanding that we bring religion to Capitol Hill. When we fight for civil rights, a woman's right to choose, try and pass a bill of rights and protections for sex workers, vulnerable individuals out here on the street having to face God knows what, and you, you can't even find it in your hearts to protect them, members of your so-called flock, using your votes as little guns to the backs of the senators' heads to block our work at every turn. My lord wouldn't vote that way. Bang! My lord thinks this law will unravel the fabric of society. Bang! My lord thinks that the rich need tax breaks. Bang! 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 Well, to hell with you all! You've all got blood on your hands, and I'm done shaking them. All I wanted to do was to keep her safe. Carter shoves Paul across the stage until they both land in a spot. Carter sings Burning Bridges to Paul by Howling Clifford. Paul gets in the car. Carter tries to stop him, but Paul isn't having it. Carter finally gets him beside him. Paul is driving fast and swerving. Carter is trying to get him to slow down. Suddenly, wham! Car crash. Carter slumps over a look of horror and remorse.
Bible from Paul states. Scene 21. Brief flight fill the air. Paul sings, there goes my everything, she was my everything. Lights up on Dinah, also in mourning, but for who? 